Hey everyone, Irit here with a new process video for HipKit Club and let's hope I get through this video because I'm still coughing and all kinds of lovely things. So my theme for this week was flowers and butterflies. Now actually the March kits have some gorgeous, gorgeous flower and butterflies. So you could definitely um, do something similar with those if you have them. But when I made this um, layout, I still didn't have them. Well, actually, I still don't have them. <laughs> but because I am in Europe, it takes a while to get to me. But anywho, uh, what I did was I took this gorgeous pattern paper, that came in the kit and I cut some flowers and butterflies from the exclusive cut files which you can find on the HipKit Club website. We have every month free cut files. Uh, I think every month there is free for everyone and then some subscriber exclusive ones as well. And um, yeah, I just cut some flowers and I didn't really know how I was going to use them yet. I just knew that I really liked this paper and um, I figured I will figure it out <laughs> like I usually do. <laughs> so these photos um, that <laughs> I'm scrapping are of Ella, my eldest, and she is showing her report card, um, like the half term report card. She's in the third grade. And she also decided to put on her little devil horns for this photo for some reason. Um, yeah, so that, that's why they are there. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to use actually what you'll see me, you, I think in this layout, yeah, I'm pretty sure. In this layout, I actually don't use the butterflies, but I will have another mixed media a layout showing you how I did use these butterflies and it was really really fun to create a layout with them so that's coming on the 19th of March as part of Mixed Media Monday on the HipKit Club blog um, so yeah don't worry about those butterflies I always like to cut uh, a bunch of uh, cut files you know just cut the whole 12 by 12 and almost always I managed to uh, use up all those extra um, die cuts. So yeah, now I'm going to create a little cute scene at the bottom of my layout there. And I'm going with, I guess, kind of, well, it's not really rainbow, but I'm just, you see that the colors are kind of arranged in an order the way the, the paper went. So from the teal to kind of the orangey colors and then to the pink and that just makes things you don't have to do this you could definitely just mix all the colors obviously it's the same paper so everything coordinates um, you know no matter how you arrange them but I just find these type of designs make it easy for me later to embellish and of course it's I mean the same embellishments that coordinate <laughs> with this layout would coordinate with it anyway no matter how I arrange the flowers um, but I just like the whole tone on tone thing which you probably already know so organizing the flowers uh, in this way just makes sense for me and then when I come to the embellishing part um, you know I have more limited options because all the teal embellishments that I would want to use will be you know, we'll go only to that area with the teal colors, with the teal flowers, and same uh, for the pink and the orange ones. So that's just, that's just me, that's just my personal preference. But obviously this design can be, um, you know, customized to fit your style. I think another fun thing would be to really, um, like, oversize I want to say I don't know make them really big the flowers and just use them to really cover the whole layout I think that would be fun too so I'm just showing you that I glued the butterflies I kind of um, made them layered and more dimensional but as I said I didn't end up using them on this uh, layout but I didn't know that at the time 
so what I'm doing, I'm just uh, adding some glue to the middle of the top butterfly and then the wings are actually not attached and that gives it the whole dimensional look. Uh, I ran the flowers through my sewing machine. I just find it... Um, I find sewing, like stitching through um, these types of designs just makes it look better for me, in my opinion. And just makes the the pattern papers feel like more of... I don't know, they like they belong and not just a bunch of papers that I stuck on some other papers. So that's that's my um, reason for stitching. And I'm going to add some layers behind my photo and yeah, I don't know, I think let's talk about other stuff. What do I have to talk about? So I've made a few changes. The next few months are going to be a little bit different on my Patreon. And basically what I'm going to do there is I'm going to uh, post videos that eventually will be an art journaling class. So if you're interested, I'm going to do in the next few months, I haven't decided yet how many months I will go on with this, but it'll at least be two or three months. So every month I will have a series of video uh, videos on my Patreon um, that show you how to create backgrounds in your art journals and layers in your art journals and then how to bring everything together. And every month will be kind of a standalone uh, project and eventually this will be a class. However, it is more um, of a bargain to take it on my Patreon. So that's why I'm telling you this. If you're interested in art journaling, uh, I'm going to yeah, share. Uh, I'm, I will be sharing lots of great tutorials uh, on my Patreon. So uh, check that out if you're interested. I also offer on Patreon uh, a real-time scrapbooking process every month. Uh, it's always kind of a long video and for me it's, you know, it's basically almost an hour of talking to myself. So it's not something that uh, I do with every layout that I create. But once a month, I I make uh, such a video tutorial, and it's just really fun and different because you can really see I share my entire thought process, and it's really um, I think fun to see how a page comes together. I don't know what I'm going to make when I start working on a layout, so yeah, it's it's fun to watch, and. Yeah, so back to the layout. I just wanted to create uh, some sort of a grounding element for my photos just so they weren't uh, floating there on my background. I felt like that it needed something. So I used these pieces of um, pattern paper and oh my gosh, the alphas in February are just so, so good. Uh, we got these gorgeous ones. I think they're in the main kit. And these are by Pink Fresh Studio. And they are puffy alphas. They are gorgeous. I really love them. So uh, I used them for my title. And then we also got these gorgeous alphas from the new page Evan Col Evans collection. And I love the little size and I just love foam uh, thickers. I think, you know, puffy stickers and foam thickers are probably my favorite. They're just, they have such a great look to them. They're easy to handle. They adhere, you know, a lot better than the chipboard. So it's all good in my book. So my title is going to be third grade. Well done. And um, the third grade was just like an afterthought because I just really liked those Paige Evans alphas. So now I'm going to add my journaling and I am very excited to tell you that I have ordered, I treated myself to the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter, the mint one. I was waiting on it to come back in stock uh, in a European um, store and because I can't order from the US, I mean I can, but it's like, insanely expensive and you know you pay customs and everything so and I don't think anyone ships it anyway 
not relevant but i am so so excited and i cannot wait to have it and i cannot wait to add my journaling on my background in typewriter font that's i'm so happy so uh, i should be getting it uh well probably by the time this airs on the 11th hopefully i will have it and i'll do uh an unboxing hopefully and you know i'm I've read all kinds of things about it and I know it has some issues, but I hope that it works well because it is kind of insanely expensive, I'll admit it. So yeah, um, back to my journaling here. So I wrote my journaling on this note and then I didn't really like how it looked on the layout. So I don't know, it was just <clears throat> not working for me. So I created this uh, pocket and I just stuck that, um, yeah, that journaling card there. So you can do that. Hidden journaling, it's, you know, it's good for probably mainly two reasons. One is if you don't want people to be able to read stuff. And secondly, if somehow the journaling doesn't work with your design or if you have too much to write and you can't make it fit, I mean, I will admit that uh, for me, a big part of, my layouts or the way that I design them, I want them to be pretty. And most of the time I do put my journaling uh, in the layout, but um, yeah, sometimes I also have like uh, more to write or something like that. So there's nothing wrong with some hidden journaling. You can tuck the, that behind your photos and there are all kinds of uh, creative ways uh, of doing that. But I will admit that I'm very, very excited to be able to add my journaling straight on my background, especially since I mostly use white cardstock or very light uh, pattern papers. So probably in, I don't know, 95% of my layouts, I would be able to write my journaling straight on the background. So I'm very happy about that. We'll see. We'll see how this typewriter, if, it's, um, if it disappoints or if it lives up to you know, my expectations. So I really wanted to include this cute sticker. You know, there's the sticker. I think it's one of the leatherette stickers and it has um, like books in it. And I thought it worked well with the design and I should have left it there because I think it looked good, but no, I didn't. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding now embellishments and this was really fun because the embellishments are so gorgeous and uh, I used all the butterflies from the Maggie Holmes layered stickers on this layout and aren't they pretty? I think they're so pretty. So now just really adding finishing touches. Uh, there are so many cute embellishments to use and um, this is really the fun part uh, except me trying to <laughs> find a place for that bow. Oh, but I did manage to find a place and I managed to um, get one of those stickers with the books on the layout anyway. So all is good in the world. Um, yeah, other than that, not a lot going on. I actually have all kinds of like fun plans for March and I kind of, I, I'm scared to believe that it's happening <laughs> because... I've been really, really into the, the daily grind for the last months and in the next month, kind of, I have two friends visiting me here in Austria, coming from abroad, visiting me, and uh, hopefully I will also be going to Israel for a few days. So that's a lot of fun, fun stuff. And um, I don't see my friends very often, my friends from Israel, and especially one of those vi visits is especially exciting because it's my best friend that lives in Minnesota. And I haven't seen her for three years. She hasn't seen Lily even. And um, that's just not right. So yeah, so I'm so, so happy. I hope this all works out and she can come and visit me because it's just, it's been too long. It's not right. It's, it's, yeah, we have to rectify this situation. So obviously I will be scrapping photos of everything and I don't know, maybe I'll try to vlog 
um, a little bit um, from my little travels but we'll see anyway this is the finished layout it was so fun to make super easy design i hope you feel inspired to create something similar i wish you a wonderful day bye